The Anglo-Saxon village is finished. But as it stands, anyone could walk in and take this place. It needs defences, so we are going to build towers, walls and gates. To build the defences, you will need logs, matching slabs and matching stairs, spruce planks, dark oak fence, dark oak pressure plates, spruce trapdoors, ladders and buttons. I like dark oak, you could also use spruce or oak. An iron door for each tower. Stone, andesite and cobblestone. Stairs to match. Torches and maybe some dark oak fence gates for decoration, we'll see. Let's start with our towers first. Building one next to the barracks would make sense. We're going to build a square base to start with that's made of stone. It's going to be five by five. I'm just going to use cobble for this one so you can see it more easily against the stone. So place down a stone block. One, two, three, four, five. If you've got a height difference, just build it up to the same level. Now one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now grab dark oak logs and we're going to build one, two, three, four on each corner. Join up the bottom of each of those pillars with logs, but leave the back open. And the back is the side that faces into the village. Join up the sides and the back with logs at the top of those columns. Leave the front open. Now add another three logs on top of each corner. And join up all sides with logs. All right, now let's work on the front. Spruce stairs. Working from the outside, facing in, three right way up spruce stairs on the next row. One right way up stair and one right way up stair in the gap in the middle, a stair facing sideways. Doesn't matter if you do it from this side or that side, so long as it faces sideways. Next layer up, spruce plank, spruce plank. And now working from the same side as you placed this stair, an upside down sideways spruce stair so that these two stairs form a little arrow loophole. Next row, three upside down spruce stairs. Same with the next row after that. That's your front. Come around to the sides. In this bottom frame, fill it with spruce planks. Next frame up, fill the first two slots with spruce planks, leave the third open. Repeat that on the other side. Now with spruce slabs on the inside, on the wall with the arrow loop, you're going to place one, two, three bottom half slabs. This is spawn proof. It also allows you to see out and fire through the arrow loops. Pick one side, fill it with spruce planks and then place one ladder. Leave the bottom empty. That way your villagers can't get up here. You don't want villagers defending your village. On one of these side posts, either this one or this one, ladders going all the way up. At this gap here, you're going to put bottom half slabs. And when you come to the top, bottom half slabs filling this space of nine. Okay, let's finish our tower off. One, two dark oak logs on each corner. And on top of each of those, a dark oak fence. And on top of each of those fences, two dark oak slabs. and join up the slabs 
with slabs. You could use a block in the corners. I just find it easy because I've got the slabs on me to use slabs. So you end up with a ring of dark oak slabs. Now around the outside of those, starting from the corners, dark oak stairs all the way around. Should look like that. Now on top of this ring of slabs, you're gonna put more slabs. And you're going to come in one all the way around so you're making another ring of slabs and you've got a hole in the middle on top of those slabs more slabs fill in the hole in the middle put one on top and now spawn proof these eight slabs here with dark oak pressure plates that's the roof of our tower now the advantage of that double layer of slabs under the roof is that this is now completely waterproof. Now slabs along the top, leave this one empty, leave this one empty. All right, come around, add one more ladder. Come to the inner edge of this top log and one, two, three, bottom half spruce planks to make a little walkway here, which just makes it easier when you come up the ladder to get inside the top of the tower. Pop some light up here. It's not needed for spawn proofing, but your lookouts will probably appreciate a bit of light and warmth. That's the tower done. And there we have it. All the towers are in. I've spaced them so that each tower can see the next tower along either side. Now I want to show you this one. This is one on a corner. So this is our normal tower and you've got this big wall on the front and then these partial walls on the sides. This is a corner one so I've got the large walls on the two outward facing corners and here I'll have to work out access into the bottom of the tower. I'll get there but I've just put platforms on the innermost corners. Now if we come down here, now these two towers are going to be for the gates. I've made sure that the wooden bases are at the same height and I've made sure that there is an even number between them. I've actually got 14 blocks from here to here. That will become important. But before we do the gates, we're going to do the walls because the walls are simple. Walls are next. We'll start at one of these gate towers. Come to the middle block on the side and with either dark oak logs or spruce logs, run a row of logs up to the same height as this middle beam. Do that again. It might be easiest if you lay out where they're going first. I like to mix spruce and dark oak. Now where I come to a bend in the wall, you can leave it like this, but sometimes you can get mobs phasing through these thin bits. So I like to make a double layer just to be sure they're not gonna get through. And of course, where there's a height change, you can either do that Or you can bring the logs up one keep going till you get to the middle of another tower and then bring the logs up to that middle log as well and now we just build all these up to the same height and if you're not happy with the course the walls taking just move it and top off the wall with slabs I like to use dark oak Although you can swap them out for spruce if you want. You can mix and match. Personally, I just like the dark top to the wall. Once you've got a section of wall finished like this, grab spruce slabs and level with this middle beam. Bottom half slabs. Take it right the way around the wall. Follow any contours. 
and bring it up where the elevation changes. Make sure you can walk all the way around it. Now periodically bring up a pillar and pop a torch on it. I especially like to ensure that there's a pillar where there's an elevation change. Now once you've got wall and walkway in on either side of a tower, you can run a top slab walkway across so that people can come all the way around the wall from gate right the way around the village to gate. And don't forget to pop in some torches because this is not spawn proof. Um, I have tried not to terraform this very much at all, if at all. But I have shooed away part of this promontory so that people can't easily climb up it so that we can have the wall just going straight into it and coming out of it. I think it's largely impassable. And same with this. Um, I had this built up here high so it was all safe and secure. The wall goes into it, the wall comes out of it the other side and there was a gentle slope coming up. Anyone could have walked up the back. So that's been cut out. But if we come around here you can see that the wall continues. I'll have to put a fence or something around the top of this to stop idiot villagers walking off the top because they will. But other than that, the walls and towers are done. All that's left now is the gate. The main gates. Now, as I said, the space between these two towers is 14 blocks. So we're going to start over here against one of the towers. Doesn't make any difference, the gates are the same. We're going to go all the way up with dark oak logs right to the top of this top beam. Do the same on the other side. And now, guess what? We're joining them up with a beam. And actually, I might do that. That looks a bit more secure. Now, I'm going to make the gates shut because I want to keep the villagers in. But you could make these gates open, in which case you just make them on a diagonal like that if you want. They should be six blocks long. That's if you want them partially open. You could bring them out like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just so long as they're six blocks long, you can build the gates how you want. So I'll just do one gate at a time. So six blocks long and just fill in all the way up to that top beam. Now dark oak stairs, one there, one there, dark oak slabs in between until we get to the center. Leave the two center ones empty, slabs along the rest and then dark oak stair, dark oak stair. So we end up with a little bump in the middle. Now fences all the way up. Do that on the other side. And an upside down dark oak stair, just like that. And now buttons dark oak buttons all the way up on this innermost edge, on the outermost edge, leave a gap of one and two columns of dark oak buttons. Repeat that pattern on the back except that you're going to run them all the way up to the top of the gate on this side. Okay, finish off the other gate how you want open or closed. As I said, I'm making mine closed. And now to finish it off, spruce slabs, bottom half, 
right the way along the bottom part of that beam and join it up with your walkways at the top of both towers. Now dark oak fences we're going to put two at each end. We're going to put two in the middle and leave a gap and one, leave a gap and one and then fill the gaps with gates. Now you can also if you want, whoops, do a second row of gates and fences in the middle. And to finish off, if you want, you can put a wicket gate in. If you do that though, and you've got villagers, you may want to put some sort of gate or fence here, just so that they can't get out. That's our gate. And there's the gate, the towers, and the walls, our defense is done. You can leave it like that, or you can dig out a trench around the wall. Four deep by four wide, with sloping sides, shear at the wall. Top it with stairs and put buttresses on the towers. Buttresses are easy. Get a block, stone andesite, oh, it wouldn't go with cobble. Run it up so it stops two blocks short of the bottom log and top with a stair. Buttresses. And that way your wall's got that extra level of defence. And the other thing you can do is hollow out the bottom of a tower. So I've done one down here. And put in a postern gate. Now a postern gate allows troops to sneak out and hopefully flank the people who are attacking the gate or bring reinforcements in secretly or get supplies in and out. So I've just got an iron door with buttons either side to open and close it. And of course I've got a trap door here so that villagers can't get in and out. And I've put the gate on the other side of a buttress so it can't be seen from round here. I've got another one um, up here so troops can sneak out and onto the ridge and attack anyone who's attacking the gate. You could put those on every tower if you wanted or just on strategic towers. And that's our Anglo-Saxon or Nordic style village completely finished. From the smallest house through to the Grand Mead Hall. I'd love to see what you do with it. I do have a Discord. The link is in the description. Come and show me your village.